Lucy, my dear, Lucy and then Betsy. Yeah, I just want to ask a question about that. Gina, do you do any work to, uh, to let go of negative beliefs? Like a lot of people in lower attraction teach about how you need to release your negative beliefs about yourself, whatever, to be in a higher vibration. Yes. So here, yeah. here's the thing I'll say about that. As Abraham says, a belief is just a thought you keep thinking over and over again. And if you think it for long enough, you'll believe it because at, thoughts create things. So as you think something over and over and over again, you'll start seeing evidence in your physical reality. that says, see, that's true. See, that's true. And then it becomes mm -hmm. more cemented as a belief. Now, a lot of people are about trying to take those beliefs and write it down and write a different belief, like a counter belief. And I found for myself and for my clients, I just don't find that the most useful because it's, first of all, if you do it that way, you've got to take the tiniest baby steps. It's like, you know, the focus wheel exercise. You got to tell just the tiniest little bit better story. And then you got to kind of feel into that, that feeling. And then tell the, a lot of people try to change their beliefs by like writing the different thing and not actually feeling it. It's a frequency. It's a vibrational shift you want to have. And so one thing I'll say, and there's a, there, I, I love this question. Thank you, Lucy. There's a, a lot of parts to this. So the thing is, when you're feeling a certain vibration, like if you're feeling the feeling of joy, it's a vibration within you. And so wherever you look, I'm going to get my different color glasses, you're vibrating at joy. And so when you talk to somebody, like you're going to like feel joyful or notice that joyful thing or that joyful thing. Like um, it's what receiving mode you're in. You might hear Abe talking about receiving mode. If you're feeling a vibration of joy, you're going to, when you go to think a thought, your mind just automatically, when you go to think a thought, the thoughts that are the matching frequency to joy are going to be right there. But if you're feeling anger and you try to think joyful thoughts, it's tainted with anger. You might try to, you might in your mind actually say the sentence that seems joyful if written down, but you're feeling anger. So you're actually feeling opposing. It's more, even more, it, it can actually aggravate your current vibration more. That's one reason why, like you'll notice in all these exercises. So Arlene, I'll take her as a beautiful example. She had this thought of like, I'm awkward, I'm weird. People aren't gonna like me. Um, I'm not good enough, right? So those were the thoughts she was thinking because she was tuned to this frequency. So what we did is have her think those thoughts to get the feeling and then put all of her focus on the feeling. No more thinking about the thoughts. And then we softened and transformed the feeling. And then once she was feeling peace and self-love and calm, then she automatically, when she thought about interacting with people in this group was like, oh my gosh, I love being weird. I love when other people. So those thoughts are already there. Like, and then it's, it's recognized as not just a belief, but a knowing. It's a knowing. It's a knowing. She's connected with her knowing and automatically has the thoughts that are, it's beyond a belief. And knowing is beyond a belief. Sometimes we try to fool ourselves, right? And mm -hmm. so when you really get connected to source, you're connected to the knowing and the all that is there. And then that's all there. So when I, when I mirrored back, well, your old belief, Arlene, like, isn't that bad? Or when I, when I went back to Rhonda, but aren't, I'm not good enough. And that, that old belief does not resonate with her now vibration. And she can see clearly of the absurdity of it, not just knowing, I know that's a junkie belief, but I know that's so not true. And so your beliefs are changed easily and automatically to what's truly true, not what you're trying to make true. Like so many people in law of attraction, they try to use this on money, like, and they feel really broke and they're like, I am abundant. Money flows to me freely and easily. And they're like, let me make that my belief. And they're trying to make themselves believe something rather than releasing the resistance and connecting with the truth of all that is and see the clarity of what's really there. And then as they're vibrating in that, they're gonna have experiences throughout the day that just back up and mirror reflect that knowing that they've connected with. Does that help and answer your question? Thank you for a beautiful question, Lucy. Arlene, or Betsy and then Arlene. Betsy, did you have a question or something to say or would like to calibrate on something? Um, well, I had wanted to share something um, about what you were talking about, the feeling, the feeling, but not getting 
into the narrative. Yes. That um, that I've been stymied by that for so long, not understanding that. Oh my gosh, look at that little thing. I know Lucy's little daughter <laughs> is so freaking cute. Oh. Little doll face, like a living doll. <laughs> <laughs> so adorable. Um, so just not just totally not getting the don't put a smiley sticker over the empty gas gauge. And then also don't talk about things that are unwanted that, that yeah. don't feel good. Yeah. So I, I could not work that out at all. Um, until this group and working with you, um, Gina, the, um, it's just like words don't teach, right? I mean, I just couldn't get it. Yeah. And now it just makes so much sense to me. Doesn't that, it? It's so clear. So clear. So clear. And um, I also <laughs> wanted to share that Arlene, right before you started your calibration, I was thinking, does anyone else feel like a wicked misfit in this group? Like mm -hmm. you don't fit in and that you're not good enough and everyone else is friends and I'm, you know. You're the outsider. And blah, blah, blah. And then uh, my dog, Abby is upset about that, right? Abs? Um, so just amazing. So thank you for, for sharing that. And just the final thing um, was, um, when you get to the end and you like, or not to the end, but when you get to the, the truth yeah. that like, I'm great, this is wonderful. Everything is here to help me. And the negative is, I've just made it up. It's just, you can really see it for what it is. It's an illusion. It's just made up. It's just, just made up. Chatter. And how ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> how yeah, ridiculous. that's the thing. You realize it's ridiculous. Whereas again, if you're to try to be like, just, take this belief sentence and replace it with this, you're actually almost validating that there's something true here. When you just, if you just let that go, change your feeling. When you look back at that sentence, you just see how ridiculous it is. And even the cool thing is too, not only do you see in your now moment how ridiculous that is, but you can actually go back to all those moments in time where you used to say that proved it, that proved it, that proved it and look, no, in fact, the opposite was true there. I had full love there. People loved me there. It is literally, it, you know, it, it, it's that changing personal history without, you can't go back and change things yet you can because you can change your perceptive because it's where, where, where the observer is perceiving it from makes it so. And so you can literally change the story on how bad or traumatic some, something might've been. Like when Lucy had her calibration, like, you know, talk about all these things in the past that was like, felt like abuse or this, that, and the other. It's like the best thing for her it was like, basically called to her from her so that she could learn and expand and grow and get an even deeper knowing of her inherent well-being and security and abundance and love and everything's available to her. Mm -hmm. And so you can really not just see the bright side because you're trying to Pollyanna it to death, but really like I, th this is the bright side. There's no other side than this bright side. The other <laughs> side that's dark is just an illusion. It's just some thought I had. Yeah. And yeah. being able to laugh at how ridiculous it is. Yes. It's just so much fun. Yes. Um, and also for me, there's, I was talking to someone last night that, that even making stuff up or milking something to a ridiculous degree, right? So, but to feel good, well, that's what I do with the negative stuff. Right? Yes. And yes. That just brings me down. So, I mean, just whatever. Yeah. Do right? it. Fun stuff. Do it. So thank you. Yes. Thank you. Love you. Mm -hmm.